Greetings, everybody. This is Dr. Jason Carthen coming to you live with the Leadership Minute. I'm excited to be with you today because I want to talk to you about upper echelon leadership. Now, I want to share some things about this because it's important to understand the concepts and to understand the role of the leader. When you start talking about upper echelon leadership, you're talking about an individual in a higher status at the organization who is able to influence with such a great amount of power that many people begin to take on the characteristics of that leader. Now, a great example of that would be uh, someone who coached me in the past. Uh, many of you know I played in the National Football League and I consider it a privilege and one of the things that I had the opportunity to do was to play for the New England Patriots and had the opportunity to be under Coach Bill Parcells. Now, Bill Parcells was a no-nonsense guy. He was a guy that wanted you to give your all on every play. And with giving your all, you began to realize, wow, you know what, if I fight hard, if I do the things that I need to do, then I'll have the desired outcomes. But one of the components of upper echelon leadership calls for the follower to begin to act like, emulate, and carry out many of the personality traits that uh, that leader is demonstrating. So one of the things that you want to be careful of, we talked a little bit about outcomes, positive outcomes, there's a potentiality for negative outcomes if you have a situation where that leader may be uh, engaging in behaviors that would not be positive for the organization in that way. So that's just uh, food for thought for you. But when you start thinking about upper echelon leadership, the one component that you want to take away from the whole idea of it is you have a leader with such a level of influence that they're able to promote and bring their followers along to actually embody some of the same behaviors and or characteristics. On a positive level, that is outstanding. But always remember, there's a shadow side to leadership also. So make sure it's only positive in terms of the emulation. So this has been Dr. Jason. Thank you so much for tuning in today to the Leadership Minute. And I want to leave something with you that I always like to talk about. I would ask that you chart your own path in this lifetime. Make sure that no one deters you from it. And then, only then, will followers actually be able to realize the greatness that they seek for themselves.